greetings and welcome to episode 93 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Great Britain campaign. And this, my friends, is how we left it last time, where we have a huge battle, my friends, a massive battle with Poland ongoing here. Where Poland have absolutely thrown everything but the kitchen sink at us here. Now, we have taken Munich. This has put a real sort of dagger through the heart here of the Polish sort of empire, particularly here. As we move in and try and, and take one of their principal production and economic centres, Munich really was the linchpin, the anchor with which Poland really did hang a lot of its forces, a lot of its military sort of operations from. We've taken it, we've, re we've captured it from them. With the, this is all that remains of the defenders. That's all that remains of those armies who were thrown in, into this fight. As you can see, we do have a wonderful army here. Doesn't that doesn't have a, a council member in it yet? If a council member would like this army, of course, please, my friends, let me know. But you can see the battle was absolutely titanic. Look at the losses: 28 men, 30 men, three cannon, 11 cannon left here, 12 cuirassiers. It was a ferocious battle. It really was. And indeed, even the army in Stuttgart here was dragged into it, as you can see. But look at the army here. Look at that. Field Marshal Ernuk, an absolute wonderful, wonderful commander, and. Perhaps one of the finest armies we have fielded in the in, in the in the army at the moment in the field at the moment is here. Look at this! What an absolute joy to see! Pack Marines, guards, line infantry. Look at that! Even the Royal Carassier guards, which you don't see many of, and also the horse guards, the absolute pinnacle of fighting horse cavalry here. So as you can see, look at that! Look at the number of stars here! Absolutely extraordinary. Um, we've also got just a small cluster here <coughs> of. Polish troops here. If they move from Strasbourg, we will, of course, eliminate them utterly. However, if we travel northwards here, we really do have a major tussle here. As you can see, Berlin is the linchpin here in the north for the, for the Poles. Now, they're sending forces from Berlin through the sort of the gap here in Saxony, which is, of course, controlled by our erstwhile allies, the United States. Now, they have beaten back one or two of the Polish attempts to retake the city here of Dresden. Hopefully they can hold on to it. Mind you that they don't really have much in the way of forces here in Prague. But they do have some assets here in Berlin. Not a considerable, not a sizable amount. A lot of cavalry. They do have some grandier guards here. Um, and they've got some light cavalry sharpshooters. But here is nothing we could really deal with, to be honest with you. The same could be said for these armies. Loitering with intent in around Eisenach here. And also Castle. Here, as you can see... But we've got these armies, but look at that. Prepared to fight you. Look at the armies we've got here. That's a wonder. And an army here as well. We're, we're sort of a, a task force, which is a small army that can be used to reinforce. Also on the bridge here is another army that has seen quite a bit of action. But again, we're just going to hold them here. And of course, we're also at war with Russia. And we have the erstwhile, our erstwhile allies, the Swedes, here as well. So we, mind you, Sweden really has cut a swathe through Russian territory. I mean, I think the Swedes might even take Russia themselves without even our help. Because if you look at the, I mean, look at the size of Poland. It is an absolute monster. It is a titan. And look at the size of Russia. <clears throat> absolutely huge. They've even got all the most Middle East. We've got Cairo, of course. That's under our control. That's under firm lock and key here in Cairo. We've also got... We might even send just our... Changing position. Our agent this way to see what the, the Russians have got here. Seeking Not cover. very much at all. Could be a point where we actually move against the Russians here. Maybe take the Middle East from them. We'd have to look expand a little bit further. And also we've got some raiding going on here. This is, a, this is one of our finest fleets here in the Mediterranean. No one's moved against us here yet. Also, we've got fighting down here in Naples, where we have been effectively surrounded by some very powerful forces, both Polish and Spanish. Look at that Spanish force there in the port here of Taranto. And we've got a Spanish force here as well, which is significant, especially with the Swiss Guards in it as well. But yeah. we shall not be shirking away from any fight. If they want to fight, then we will oblige. Mark my words, my friend. We will oblige. We've also moved in some reinforcements here to bring this army up effectively into a more coherent force. We've also got quite a number of troops here. But again, this force here 
is quite extensive in terms of got rifle scouts, a lot of, a lot of light infantry. <clears throat> you do have Royal Crassia guards, lots of hussars, and lancers as well, which will, might prove a problem to us. But if they attack us, I think we would do a huge amount of damage to both all the forces. They've also landed the forces here and here as well. So again, they outnumber us significantly here. And that's the main problem. We, we, we need to start moving in additional troops in from Cairo, but I think we might just do that. We've got 16,972 here, with 10,000 here coming in here, so we might have to move additional troops in from Cairo to start reinforcing the sort of the southern boot here of Italy. They also start hitting our, our lands down here, so we've got to get this Ready army into here. <clears throat> as quickly as possible, because I can guarantee they'll probably move against this small force here. So we're re we are really hunkering down here. We've also got Spanish forces moving in from this sort of triumvirate here of Turin, Milan and Genoa, which is under Spanish control. We are at war with Spain as well. And they, they do, I mean, they pack quite a punch. The Spanish really do have some sizable forces here. Now, this force is mainly cavalry. This is more of a raiding harassment force, but we've also got spies in and around Madrid as well. Look at that, that's a formidable force. Even Spanish, Royal Spanish Guard, I beg your pardon, which is probably the absolute pinnacle, up there with, probably up there with Walloon Guards, as probably the best. And they've got plenty of forces here as there they are. There they are. Perhaps the finest regiment in, in the entirety of any army. It really is extraordinary. Uh, especially when you fight, look at that there. Where are they going with this? Where are they going with that? Now we do have most of this cornered off here. We've got this Polish force effectively stuck between the navy we've navy producing here in Portsmouth, the force we've got here, and these two naval forces here as well, including victory. And we are moving to move against this force here, which is blockading uh, Bristol. And that's a real menace for us, because we can un un unhinge the Bristol sort of economy here, it will give a sizable boost our in our income. We're just waiting on that battle there. We might take that battle ourselves. But the main battle is here, where they've managed to move in an army group, which is strung out along a, a, a long sort of the path here in Cologne. As you can see here, they've got the Grenadier Guards here, but this is the one that's going to cause us the most problems. Look at that. It really is a wonderfully balanced but also elite army here by the Poles. They've thrown everything they can into this one. Okay, they've got some militia in here and they've also got some regiment of horse. But that's still a formidable foe here, especially with the artillery being at, at full calibre. But we've sort of allowed them to move in. Is it? We've, we've got to keep an eye on this here because we can intercept if they move against us here. Yes. But this army here is replenishing and repairing. I would like to get it just a little bit closer. Man. To Marburg here. We've got this army as well, which is moving in. I'd like to ideally move yes. against these forces and pick them off one by one. But this force here, which is our probably our most our most elite force we've got in the area, as it were. Oh, we don't have much cavalry su um, artillery support, unfortunately. We do have this force here as well, with lots of Jaeger. And the army here, which is guarding Cologne, but I think they're aiming for Amsterdam. That's probably their principal goal. Mind you, Amsterdam is heavily defended here by elite veterans here. I mean, look at the echelons here. These, these gentlemen have seen a lot of fighting indeed. Also, we've got Brussels, which is covered here by that extraordinary force. Look at that. General Bishamont here. He's got a wonderful army. Our real fighting force is here. And we've got, look at this, green jackets, Irish volunteers... Irish Rifles, Horse Grenadiers, these are the ones that are, are moving towards the border here with Spain. We've also got an army here, look at, I mean, look at that, under General Lincoln. Exceptional. And here, in Brest, look at that, that's a wonderful force there. Full of Fusiliers and Grenadiers as well, if I'm not mistaken. Fusiliers, yes indeed, and Grenadier Guards, and also some Royal British... Marines here with knock volley guns, well, that'd be excellent to see there, but again, they they involved in quite the fight here, wrestling the port away from the raiding Spanish, who have been an absolute menace here in in, in France, they really have. We've got a small force here, we're trying to build it into another army, 
just give that one. A, I think we'll give that one a general there. We've just got to watch out. Look at that. We're building an, or recruiting quite a number of troops there as well. Here as well. We just got to watch our income as well. We just don't overburden our ourselves too much. We're repairing that there, which is excellent because we've cleared this entire area here. But hopefully the 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 U.S. can start building up their power base a little bit. But look at that, Spain, all the way down to here. We've got Russia and we've got Poland. So we're fighting three of the largest nations that you can possibly find. And we've managed to carve out quite the area for ourselves here. And also the powerhouse, which is Britain. This absolute industrial powerhouse here, which is Britain. We've got everything up to full spec here. Everything is guarded. London is guarded as well by some wonderful troops. So is Edinburgh. Uh, mind you, they've got some... These, these things retrofitting here for definite... So I think we'll begin actually fitting these gentlemen here as well with them. 24 pounders here. And we've got Ireland defended as well. With some more Irish volunteers as well. Which we need to move into the field ideally. Probably into this army here. Which we are going to send this army as well into Europe. So we'll send these Irish volunteers to join here. It'll take a while for them to get through. Just outside, just outside Edinburgh now. But eventually they'll reach London quite quickly. We've got quite a lot of recruiting here. This will also go into this army as well. So that's a powerful force. It's going to be moving in as well. We're going to start reinforcing Europe here a bit more, especially Central Europe here. But I think we're going to start picking off these armies here. We've got to take the fight to them. If we attack, if we attack this force here, yes, my lord. We're going to do this correctly because when we can't move, we need to get this one into the fight because this is probably one of our most experienced armies here. We might have to end the turn before we can see that. We've got these guns here sat here, but they're not really going to do much good sat there. Are they doing nothing at all? Ah, that's why they're for. Of course, they've got to cross the river. Which means coming all the way around here. We might just pull these out of here for the time being, and then we can use... That's more like it. That's a force we can use now. And also, we might be able to, if they move against us, we might be able to surprise them and cross into the Netherlands and back up the army here as well. <clears throat> Got to get this army up here. Look at that. Oh my goodness me. Now, General Field Marshal Ernok, I beg your pardon's force. We'll probably have this army pulling back into Stuttgart. We'll free this force up here. It's an absolute titan of a force. I mean, look at that. This force here would probably move to slam into the flanks here of this force here, this armed group. I think this army could probably deal with this entire armed group, to be honest with you. It's that powerful. <clears throat> right, let's end the turn, my friends. I don't think there's anything else. Nothing in the New World. Let's quickly check the New World. No, we've only got Arcadia as our own. We do need to probably get a new family, which the council has called upon us to do. As you can see, the, new, the, the US really is absolutely a powerhouse here at the moment. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't take the rest of these nations here from the Cherokees and solidify and I'll meet, I think the Iroquois are their allies, if I'm not mistaken. No, only the Huron Inuit. Inuit. So the Iroquois and the and the Cherokees are at war with the US. There's every chance the US is gonna grab all of this. How the heck did Russia get up Louisiana? Doesn't make any sense. The, I wouldn't be surprised if the US isn't striking up Louisiana as well and take that from the Russians. <clears throat> but the US is growing in strength, is what we need. It really is what we need here. We need a strong ally here because they're the, they're the ones that really have stood with us. I don't think we've got anything else, no, because. None of the Caribbean islands are available, apart from the Martiniques here, but that would put us slap bang in the middle here of the Spanish Dominion here, although Sweden is here as well, but Spain effectively controls the Caribbean, apart from the Bahamas and the Windward Islands, but we don't have the forces yet to just pull away from there yet. We do have peace with the Mughal Empire. Oh, we might get the rebels here in Ceylon as well. We're at peace with everyone else, but look at that. Russia just absolutely steamrolled everything in its path. We've got to be able to hold our own here. We're going to see what the Poles do here. Let's end this turn and see what comes our way. 
This will be a heck of a fight here. Now Spain, but again, we've got spies everywhere to keep an eye on what's going on with Spain. Oh, that's there. They're going to move against us there. They're going to move again into... Oh, here we go. Here we go. There it is. They've moved in against Egypt. We cannot allow them. We cannot allow them to take Egypt. Look at that. What will Poland do? Good grief. That's a lot of forces around Vienna. This is going to cause us a lot of problems, these forces. Because remember, they've even got all the forces in the Baltics as well, which they haven't brought up. So we really are fighting a formidable foe. We might even try and get peace with them. I think we might just we might fight one more battle and get, try and get some peace so we can just sort of reconfigure our front lines. Again, we're watching what they're doing here. We've got spies everywhere to keep an eye on what their, their troop movements are. Because they also have... Well, we, we control this enclave here, and it's only the council that pushes us to take France and to expand it into Europe. That's the only reason we weren't trapped down in the Balkans here and effectively wiped out. This campaign would have been over a long time ago if it wasn't for the council. going to do around Holland because that's a real key here. They'll either consolidate the army group as a whole or they'll move and strike Holland individually. If they do that we can pick them off one by one. Oh my goodness me that's a lot of forces around Vienna my goodness me that's extraordinary. That must be the best part of a boat four army groups if you put all those armies together. There's definitely something brewing in Berlin for definite. No, we don't want to pull, we don't want to bring these forces to battle yet. Just let them let them read if they want to, that's absolutely fine. There it is. As you can see now they're starting to move up. We might be able to trap and cut off an entire two army groups if we if we play this right. is they can throw you know huge amounts of our, our forces against us our ours is more quality than quantity so we've got to pick the point where we hit the mat and that when we hit them it has to do with the max amount of damage because we just can't keep producing you know you know dozens and dozens of armies we can't do that so when we strike we have to hit that right point but when we hit them we have to hit them hard and effectively wipe those armies out So what we're trying to do is we're trying to pull in as many of these of these forces as we possibly can here. If we can trap those uh, those Polish forces there and cut them off, then we can do a huge amount of damage. There, there it is. There it is. Look at that. They won't move. They won't move against the sea, they know that they move into this area here, they're going to be up against it. Here we go, Russia. Now, what will Russia do? Again, we're keeping an eye on what Russia is doing. By we've got a we've got a, a scout or a, a gentleman 
just keep your eye on what's going on the coast road there. Russia looks like Russia moving against Sweden. Indeed, it is. Hopefully, Sweden can re 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 respond here because they really have been fighting a wonderful war against uh, Russia. Yeah, they're hitting the Russian trade lines there. Okay, Empire. Like the states, what the United States do? I wonder if they'll send. Oh, I wonder if they'll send additional forces to help us out. I'm not sure if they will. They got enough on their on their plate there in the, the North America, let alone Europe. Oh, looks like they're moving against. They are. They are they're moving against. Oof, Canada. Wow, look at that. They did a huge amount of damage to Canada. Wow, Canada repelled that army there. I was a surprise, I must confess. Wonder what else we might yes, forty one thousand. Yep, that's okay. If they want to raid these these city these areas here, that's absolutely fine. That's mostly just cavalry, which we expected anyway. Minus two. What the blazes? We can deal with, deal with this for definite. I'll definitely put that into it. And this army's starting to build back up to some. Mind you, they took a look at the beating there. We took. That was a ferocious fight, my goodness me. We do need to deal with these forces here. Got this army here. We're going to repair, repair all of these. I think what we will do is we'll track these down here. So we're going to track them down. We've got this force here. Got the guns ready here, so we'll join this force will be joining the fight very soon. We've got this army here. I said full strength, but I did what we do need is we want. We'll take out these two gentlemen here. I'd like to put in the Irish volunteers. Excellent. That is a formidable force there. Now, <clears throat> what we need to do now is we're going to get these gentlemen onto the ship. And they will be then sent to Europe. How are we looking here? We're looking good here. What we do want to do is we want to strike hard against the flank of these forces here. What are they bringing in? These just these aren't ready your yet. Orders, your Majesty. Especially this army here, which we do need at full strength. We need this army to be at full strength, which it isn't just quite yet, but it will be next Next, the next couple of years. Got here. What do we need in this one to make it complete? We need more. We need more cavalry. We'll take out these Jaeger. Actually, no, we'll take out these gentlemen here. Immediately. Yes, sir. We're going to send in two more additional line infantry units here. Let's get that balance right. That's more like it. And we've got a lot of light infantry, but still. <coughs> Excuse me, my friends. I think. Okay, here. I don't know what the I don't know what the ultimate goal is, but if we if we're patient, we might we might be able to trap a huge amount here, but we might push against these here. And draw in all of these. <clears throat> we might even strike a move against Berlin. What do we have here available yes. to us? Yes. 
Of all skin. Your Majesty. Your orders, Your Majesty. I think we're gonna strike against this army here. Well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move this army into yes, place. We're gonna crash into the flank here of them. If they want to attack Hanover, they can do, but they'll be met with a, sh a tremendous defence here. I think we're going to send in this force here to attack Brown Braunschweig here. Let's just move him here. We'll pull this gentleman off the bridge here. And if he drags in this army here as well, all the better. Because that means we'll wipe out this. It'll punch a hole in the lines here. It'll give us clear sight for Berlin. Six thousand. That's excellent. Let's just clear this here. Take ready. Wonderful. Ready and awaiting orders. We've been attacked here by this force. That's okay. If they want to attack one of our mate, this this force here, they'll be absolutely smashed. But we will probably move this army up and pull this wing instead. Orders, Look at that! It took a real battering last time. My goodness me! Look at the fight there. Ah, oh, look at that! Brilliant. Let's get about to full 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 capacity. If we're raided, then so be it. We've got to maintain our focus. So I think what we will do is we'll move against this army here and, and just just deal with it here. That's more like it. I think we'll send. I don't know we could auto resolve this, but I think I'd rather send them. Mind you, they've got a lot of guns here, and we mind you, we've got a wonderful force here. I think we're going to bring this. I think we're going to bring them. Right, yeah, let's take this fight. Oh, we're going to we're going to punch a hole through the here. We're going to move possibly move against Berlin as well without those two armies. And then what we'll do is allow the, the Poles to keep pushing lots and lots of our armies into that gap, and we'll close the gap off. That's ultimately what we're going to do. What a fight! What a fight this is with the Poland. I wonder if they'll give. I wonder if they'll go for peace after this particular battle here. Let's give them a real thrashing here. Let's see if they get. Because if we can get peace, we can realign our our front lines as it would prepare for the next battle. Mind you, we are raiding them, so our income would go down dramatically. We've got lifeguards here. Look at that. We've got really, I've got three of the finest cavalry regiments. And we've got a wonderful force here. We've got to blitz them here. Right. We're going to have, we'll have our artillery up front and centre here. The topography here. I mean, that's a huge deployment zone. My goodness me, that's a massive deployment zone. And ours actually overlaps the Polish zone by quite a while, by a huge amount. But we could use the forest here to our advantage, and he's also the forest on their deployment zone as well. We could use the forest here to our advantage. I think that's what we'll do. We'll just put them in here, and we can move across these forests. There's only a small gap here between. This forest here and that one there. <clears throat> Got a small hamlet. We don't want that to break up anything at all there. I think. There's a few undulations here, particularly here over this hill, here as you can see. <coughs> Excuse me, my friends. So we are. Got James Fosky here. We might even send some forces to me strike at, at the flanks. Mind you, they've got quite a small force, so we're doing that. We might even hold some forces back, I think. I think we'll hold our grenadiers and our guards back. And just use... We might just hold these gentlemen back here, out of the harm's way. And use these gentlemen to sort of defend, and then let our artillery and our cavalry do the damage. 
Let's put the 26th Regiment here in the van and guard of the defence here. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. Thank you. Go. The 96th Regiment on the right. Again, we just need enough to defend the line. That's all we need. We've got to really res preserve our forces as best we can here. Then second regiment, second regiment. Wow. Fortieth regiment. <clears throat> Again on the left. It's a little bit too far away from one another. So we'll just bring them up a little bit closer. That's more like it. These are probably a little bit too close. We'll just give some space there between them. That's more like it. Seventy second on the right. To be honest with you, I think that's probably enough there. We might send two regiments on the flank with the cavalry just to really make sure that it's done properly. We've also, as you can see there, we've cut the road. We've at, we got control of the road here. General Sabosky, just sit back here. We've, we've got more our more elite units, regiments, held back in reserve. So we don't really want to bring these into the fight just yet. We want to conserve as much as we possibly can here, lose as little as we can. Right, let's set the gentlemen up here to do as much damage. Quick run. No, shrapnel shot. Oh, it's going to reach as well. It's going to be a boom, right? Almost ready. Let's begin this fight, my friends. Let's take the fight to, the, to this poles here. But I do have a considerable force here. Gotta hold our nerve here. That quick line will do his damage all the time. Oh, that's a wonder. Shot. They've gone. They've gone. Get close, let's get close here. Let's use the trees as a sort of a sh shelter shield here. Damn, we've got to push hard here. We've just got to push hard. Got to show the poles we're not going to be pushed around here. And I mean, we're not going to be pushed around at all by anyone. Oh, what? They have a direct hit there on the. Oh, I don't believe it. A direct hit.
Reinforcements, sir. to the mats. Hold him down, Axe. I'll hold him down on this bank here. Great formation. Oh, they've gone. They don't like it. They don't like it. Go chase them down here. Any rest point, no rest point at all. Let's run them down. It's a wonderful fight. I mean, we gave them an absolute thrashing there. Keep chasing them down. Keep chasing them down. Look at 
many rest points. That's still a good many rest points. Don't give them any mercy, don't show any mercy, sir. Gonna run them all down. If I, the council have requested I actually run down these units here to make sure they don't escape. So they don't come back and haunt us. We can just show the poles we're not messing about here. Gone. That regiment is completely vanquished. Let's get this regiment to fill here. Come on, lads. Deal with it now. Get this done. Last two gentlemen, please, if you would. Thank you very much. Let's get this done. Yes! Done, my friends. We did it. That was a wonderful fight. We showed the polls. We will not. We will not take. Look at that. We lost 180. 1,175. Gone. 100 men remaining. Look at the lifeguards, they did a wonderful job there. Nearly 800 kills there, what a wonder. They've gone. Take ready. Come on. And we can replenish. We've cleared that flank there at least. We now have the full strength as well here. Steam factory, look at that. Yes. Now I think we need to move against this force here if we can. And rid ourselves of that force here, that, that force is going to be a little bit of a problem, but we can send this army in if we need to. But we need to deal with all these armies on this flank here. So let's send this, oh, can this, will this army reach? Should do. Yes indeed. Oh my gosh, that's, that's a huge, but, but, what we don't want to do is drag this force in, we want to leave this force to replenish if we, if, if possible. So we want to use this force. So again, we're going to take the fight here. We've got to make sure we pick off all of these red these armies here utterly. Just absolutely vanquish them. Let's take this fight as well. We're clearing that gap there where the poles are trying to move through. If we can close off these gaps here and take out that, those regiments that are moving in behind us, that'd be an absolute boom. Just got to do. We've got to show Poland that we will not be messed about. We might try and super peace, then I might just give us a little bit of a breather, but not until we've done the damage we need to here. I mean, look at the size of these 225 men in almost all of these, these regiments here. That's extraordinary. Right, we've got plenty of cavalry, so I think what we will do is again we'll have uh, the cavalry on the left and right, some topography here of what we've got. I think a much smaller deployment zone here, but wider. The, the sort of we've got these we've got these forests here we can use to hide some troops, but we don't really want to do that. What we're gonna use we're gonna use the cavalry again. The horse guards here. To strike left and right. So those gentlemen on the left, these gentlemen on the right are using the forest which we have. There's an abundance of forest here on these on these battlefields here, an abundance of them, gentlemen. We've got to do the damage here. <clears throat> we do have, again, plenty of artillery which will do the job for us. Oh, we've got lances as well. I think we'll send the lances here with each element, just to sort of to, actually in the, in, the, in the front here, in the vanguard, the attack, because their hit here, their, their charge is just stupendous. If you follow in with each element as well, it's going to effectively just roll over anything in their path. Well, let's get our gun set up here. Again, 225 men here. I'm perfect. That's extraordinary. It really is. Now, the, the, the Nomad Land is 
pretty far apart here, but still. We'll set up our guns. That's excellent. I set up a defensive line here. I think we have the 115th Regiment here. In the centre. This regiment here on the right. Sixteenth on the left, only second here on the right. Okay, we just start to because they don't have any troops. We'll start to angle our forces just slightly. We're not trying to keep some of these armies, some of these regiments back. I don't, I don't think we need them all here. We have more than enough to deal with them here. I would like to bring those gentlemen here back into the group and also have them on quick climb. I think the rest of these do have General Smith here. Should have here. I think we'll pull some of these forces back though from the fighting. Keep them trying to keep them in good oh, we the sharpshooters. No, I don't think so. Okay, I think we'll keep the sharpshooters out of harm's way as well. <clears throat> we don't need to use all of these regiments. We want to try and keep them in as good strength as we can. Now let's make sure they don't start firing on our own troops. I think that is the. F I think these are the troops we need to do the battle here. Right, let's take the fight to the poles again. Let's show them what we're made of here. We've got reinforcements coming in, of course. There. Here. Let's bring these on the sharp shrapnel shot here. Gonna panic. We are not going to panic. The glass is over there. Deal with them. Look at that. It's absolutely blitzed. Oh, what? This is incredible. What a fight this is. Look at this. We've swarmed them, sir.
we get them before they get demarcation? I doubt it. Oh, they've almost made it. No, let's just get. Let's get have that other other infantry that's up here. Two hundred here. We're going to take care of them. Oh, what a fight that was! This uh, this this regiment took a real beating here. Lost hundred men exactly, but the rest have fared quite well here. What we are going to do, without a shadow of a doubt, is deal with these gentlemen here. Well, we don't any of them left, thank you very much. Deal with them if you would, please, gentlemen. Thank you. I'm going to show the poles. If they come against us, they will not stand a chance. What we are going to do is we're going to take care of this infantry here. Can move right behind them here. Diamond formation, if you would, please, gentlemen. And please deal with these water for General now completely and utterly eliminated. That's a wonderful fight. Right. Let's get in behind them. Yes, sir. This British cavalry at its finest, sir. Troops here, but they're going to be absolutely swarmed. With the lancers here, they're going to strike at the, the on the flanks. These gentlemen here are going to strike at the rear. And down the formation. And the same for these two as well. These two regiments here. Diamond formations, you can turn them on the sixpence. So they can adapt the, they can adapt the shape of the diamond immediately wherever they wait. Look at this. Lancers hit hard as terrorists. Oh. We'll give them a chance to get them squared. If you see this coming towards you, you just run. charge them now as they because they turn to face these we're gonna charge them in the rear come on gentlemen move now get into them one last push gentlemen That's more like it. Everything else completely eliminated. We even kept troops back in reserve, fresh, ready for the fight. That's more like it. They're starting to wave it out. Don't let them escape, don't let them escape, lads. Don't 
Oh, I'm escaped. I'm not escaped. Absolutely dealt with, look at this. Yes, that's a wonder, my friends. That is a wonder. We got 25 million, we lost 234. Five, look at that. Another army completely eviscerated there. Again, the lances. The lances did good as well, 100 kills. Not too bad. Ah, we got it. That's more like it. Now, let's replenish repair this army here. This army here, I believe, we've been doing so. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. But now we can cut these off here. We can now strike the flank of these. I do need to get these gentlemen up almost a full strength here. This army. God, that took a real beating there, didn't it? Sir. I'll try and get this army across, but we don't have the capacity to do so just yet. But I think, my friends, as we're going to end this episode here, I'll have to try and pick them off if possible. Look at that. Whoa. I'm definitely not going to invest in that yet because I'll just strike it again. But I think we need to strike the rear here and take out the weaker army and draw these other armies in. But we need this army Ready here to be at full orders. strength, which is not. And also this army here definitely needs to be at full strength, which it isn't by a long shot. But I think next turn next episode we'll, we'll end the episode and we'll, we'll, we'll begin the episode by ending the turn and we'll see where the, po where the poles end up. We can probably surprise them with this army as well if we strike them in the rear but we will eliminate this force here and then we will look to super peace with the poles and that means we'll be able to move forces up to the border here and also into Dresden possibly. Um, that really would be fantastic if we could do that and strike at Bavaria and Prague. Vienna is going to be a different kettle of fish because that is so heavily defended, it's extraordinary. But if we can take Prague, because all of their armies are disparate, they're not coherent at all, well, ours are, and they sent their best forces all up here, miles away, from, look at that, miles and miles away from, the, from any reinforcements, because we've cut the reinforcements off, apart from this force here, but everything else has been cut off. So that's what we're going to do. But anyway, my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you've enjoyed it, my friends. We might have a naval battle next episode as well. Where we'll deal with this force here. From the Poles. We've got a couple of steam ships as well. Or one at least. We've got, we've got plenty. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. As always, please keep your comments coming down below. Your comments, your plans, your suggestions, your tactics. have been absolutely wonderful. Your support is absolutely fantastic, my friends. And very much appreciated. It really, really is. Whatever you're doing, please be safe, my friends, especially the times we live in now. But until next time, bye for now.